Okay, hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to talk about Rust, not the term and not the game, the programming language. You may say how original. YouTube is filled with uh, content about Rust, why are you making another video? Uh, this video is different because I'm going to show you my perspective of learning Rust. I mostly use Python for programming, so I'm going to show you a mostly Python uh, programmer's perspective to Rust. And also I'm going to show you my first uh, kind of usable uh, public Rust project that is a little CLI app uh, in this video too. So please watch until the end. Enjoy. Okay. Uh, I learned and I'm still learning Rust with YouTube. It's a really good platform to learn anything as you probably know because you're here in YouTube watching my videos. Thank you so much. And I watched two playlists from these channels. Uh, first was Take With Tim. It was a really good playlist and I really suggest it to you. But the problem was uh, he didn't cover most of the things and it didn't end. The playlist didn't end. So uh, some uh, things weren't covered yet. So I watched the playlist named the Rust book, uh, the Rust Lang book, sorry, from Let's Get Rusty. And I stuck with it. I'm still watching it and it's great. Uh, both playlists are linked in the description. Okay, what were the problems I had uh, as a Python programmer? For the first like two or three days, I had problems with semicolons. Okay, don't judge me. In Python, semicolons technically exist, but nobody uses them. Uh, the second thing is the borrow checker. Yes, you, uh, you've all seen the memes and I don't even have to show it here because you know what I mean. Uh, the borrow checker uh, is hard at first, but when you understand the uh, concepts of it, it's really easy to work with. And the next problem that I sometimes had was the return types that I had to fix, but that was really easy to work with too. And that's it. Now we're going to check my uh, program that I wrote with Rust. Okay, this is too big. Uh, okay. Okay, good. Yeah, this is good. Uh, as you can see here, I'm using request. Nice name. I'm using server desk dash json and i'm using regex and uh, also the uh, one of the most important parts i'm using clap to make a simple uh, cli app this is amazing i love clap okay uh, this app what it does is it downloads a uh, video that you give the link uh, to uh, the app you give a link of a video from opera to the app and it downloads it uh, now, Apparat is a video sharing platform that is uh, used in Iran, not as big as YouTube, even in Iran, but it had APIs that were really easy to work with, and uh, it was a uh, app that would uh, make me work with the things that I want in Rust and learn how to use regex, learn how to parse JSON, and uh, access to the JSON data in Rust and also learn clap to and request. And uh, I wrote this, it's a really simple uh, CLI app. You can check it out in the link in the description. I've put the link of the GitHub uh, of this uh, simple app in the description. You can uh, see it and maybe even contribute to it. And uh, I have a readme.md uh, file here that uh, in it I have a to-do and one of the things that I'm working on is uh, download playlists because this is really important to pass a, a playlist link from Opera to the app and uh, the app I wanted to be able to download the whole playlist. 
and I'm working on uh, some GitHub action stuff too to automatically build binaries for different uh, uh, operating systems on release and also a simple installer to install the app in the path and if it was one of my uh, simple or even complicated other projects I would probably write a installer with bash uh, or uh, other shell scripting they're the same but uh, in this project I especially want to uh, make the installer in Rust too and that's it thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video check out the links in the description again and yeah bye